Hey guys, and welcome back to my Doom 2 100% walkthrough on the Ultra Violence difficulty. My name's Jason, today we're doing Map 28, The Spirit World. Now this one's a little bit, um, mixed. There's places where it has horrendous traps, which I hate dealing with, which are probably both this way. So we're gonna deal with those right off the bat. There's nothing over here, no keys, no switches, just two, just a couple secrets and traps. So, uh, you'll see a chain gun on the other side of the room. This door will automatically close after a moment, but we're going to wait. Once it goes back up, run towards your chain gun, and get straight back, and make sure you come back out the doorway. And just sit right here. Allow your friends to come join you. There's quite a number of them in there. Rush over here to the far switch. Pulling well, that will turn the lights back on. That one turns it off. We're gonna leave that one alone, obviously. All right, and there's first trap room. You can see all that was in there was some chain gun ammo, a box of chain gun, a couple boxes of chain gun ammo. Actually, what are they picking those up? Oh, I'm sorry, those are med kits. Looks like a box of ammo from here. Anyway, here's another trap room. We're gonna go ahead and step on in. And we're gonna not leave because the door closes right on your face. Take care of the revenants as quick as you can. You guys can take that. There you go. We're gonna just clean up the rest of these uh, lost souls. There's quite a number of them. Chain gun these, shotgun them, whichever your preference would be. Now in each of these little... I come here first because each of these little side passages has secret items and locations in them. This one being a soul sphere, this one over here being another revenant with a bunch of backpacks. And each of these are also a secret, so I'll grab all three of these. If you're less than 100%, grab the Berserk first, obviously, and then come over here and grab the Soul Sphere. There we go. And these rooms are out of the way. Let's continue on with the main map section. we got a nasty bit over here. Don't worry about your BFG ammo. There's about a pile of 900 cell ammo later in the level, so you can BFG a lot of things down without worrying about the ammo cost. I think most people do. Alright, so you should have aggroed this guy by now. There's an imp over there in the corner. Go ahead and hop on down. And make our rounds. If you miss a monster in the map, it's probably going to be that imp. He's one of the few enemies in this level that doesn't aggro automatically on you. So just sit over there quietly and mess with your score. box of rockets sitting back here. Around this column over here, you'll find a arch vial. So we're going to go ahead and knock him out with a BFG round. There we go. Lately, I've had arch vials be acting strange with the BFG shots. Usually, it takes one direct hit. I was playing Icon of Sin, trying to practice that map for future videos. And it took four shots to kill one, and they were all point-blank shots. I don't know why they didn't kill it immediately. Just a fluke, perhaps. Seems like a lot have been taking two BFG shots lately. Alright. So there is a uh, hidden wall back there, but we're not going to go that way just yet. We're going to go over here. Got a Baron in the pit. Another easy kill, just watch his fireballs, some of them slip up cracks here. Uh, 
there we are. Okay, that's everything in here. This next bit, you have to be kind of quick. We're going to run past, you'll see a revenant and a baron to your left and two worthless pain elementals. Actually can't do anything, so you can ignore them until later. But we're going to run past a revenant on the bridge next to a bunch of arachnitrons and grab a uh, grab an invulnerability sphere that's hiding down there. So pull out our weapon of choice here. And hop on down and run. Pass, grab this. Aggro that. Put one blast into him. Attention gets turned. Can't believe he's still on. Alright, so try not to hit him, I guess. That's about to wear off and grab another one. Ignore these for now. We're gonna go up here. Step on the seat, we'll lower the middle section, step on this, go up here, hit the switch, and you'll lower a bunch of pillars. see laying around. And you can see there's a lot of invulnerability spheres. I have one more out there, two more in here. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna actually... What are we gonna do? Let's go on the chair again. Instead of hitting the left switch, we're gonna hit this right switch. Not will open the wall leading to the yellow key. Now you can go through that secret wall I mentioned earlier where the demons are coming out of. You can grab it from there. But we're not going to do that. Oh, hey, buddy. Alright, so we're going to grab this. Quickly go down the hallway. I go everything here. And there, clear that out. Here come the specters. Right, open these, you have to shoot the walls. That one opens a wall that I just came from, but you don't need to worry about that. Step in here and grab the Mega Sphere before your vulnerability wears out. Oh, that... One second. Less than a second. Between my invulnerability wearing out and that Arch Vial hitting me. Okay... There is a rocket in here. go this way you'll find yourself back in this room you can see the wall right here is go throughable still hear the spider demons walking around in there All right, let's continue back pull out that BFG again I got one good shot left yeah we're gonna go back this way and finish off the spider demons first oh, hi I'm expecting you to be here Figure out which side they're on. Go out here and grab this. Here's that big pile of cell ammo I was talking about. Go got those two fighting. Pretty much just sitting here and wait. I'm trying to get the pin in. Too bad. Open this up with the yellow key. It's multifunctional. Grab all that nonsense. Uh, we are gonna go back up this way. Now we have that invulnerability sphere left. And open this wall. Go ahead and clear out these uh, pain elements before we move on. 
Like I said, these are probably the only pain elementals in the game we just don't do chainsaw. We're gonna save these for later. You could get the invulnerability sphere now, there's not gonna be many more traps between now and the end of the level. At least not when you come back. So we're gonna head on up here, go back towards the entrance, use the elevator, ride this back up, and a new trap wall will have opened around the corner to the right here. You wanna knock these out pretty quickly, so let's go ahead. And Alright. We got one more nasty trap in here. You see the red key. This is a lot easier to take care of with the rocket launcher than the BFG, so that's what we're going to be doing. When you go pick that up, a bunch of revenants are going to uh, reveal themselves. So let's go ahead and clean house. Here, fire. There you go pick up whatever health you need, which is everything. Okay, that's all the monsters. We are missing two secrets. Uh, one of them is the one with the Megasphere. And another one is in the hallway leading back to the exit that we're going to get on the way. So let's head back down here. All the way through. Grab those items now. Just hop up onto the teleporter behind the throne. I'll take you right up here. Let's go ahead and pick those up. Head down the hallway. Now you have two, you can see his feet right here. There's a spider arachnotron hole right here that has a secret. And then you have this one right here that has a couple items in it. So don't miss these as well. You come into the final room, and as you can see, we have all monsters, all secrets in all items. And that concludes our run through the spirit world, and we're going to go ahead and make our way to the final exit drop. And I'll see you guys next time in map 29, the last actual level of Doom 2 before the final boss.